I started playing volleyball in like fifth grade. And so I wasn't even that good when I was little. Like I was actually probably pretty bad. Like I, I watch kids now um, with the rec program with my mom. And like I watch them go through. So like there's kids right now that were like in the rec program when I was in like ninth and 10th grade. And so like I've watched them like go up and I'm like the one couple of the kids are like all state. And I'm like, you guys were so bad. I'm like, how bad was I? There's practices where I literally did not touch a ball because I was either running or doing push-ups. As we got farther and farther, I got burnt out a little bit. I was not an easy um, human being to deal with just because I get so frustrated and worked up about things. But I'm kind of that way about everything. It's so like it's either like things are great or things are bad and I'm just exploding at all times. I remember this, it was like in May, and it was so nice outside and I would, I just had it. Like it, was, it wasn't a good practice for me, I wasn't playing well and I was so frustrated and I remember like telling my dad that I was going to the car. Like I was like, I'm leaving. Like you can stay and finish coaching practice. Like I'm not coming back to this gym. I'm never coming back, I'm never playing again. And then from then until my senior year, um, especially high school, I just hated it. There's no break when your parents are your coaches. So like you literally come home and he's still mad because you didn't run a ball down that was 20 feet outside the court that there was no way you were ever gonna get, but you were supposed to make an effort. And I go home and I complain to my mom. She was definitely more like trying to make me understand the life lessons that he was trying to teach me, like outside of volleyball. She is the magic that makes everything else go around. So especially at, like at home, she does all the program stuff for my dad. She like helps him at work. She does all the stuff for my siblings and me. She literally does just what makes everything else function and makes everything else possible for us. She really wasn't that involved with it because like my dad would take me and because I couldn't drive. Like she didn't even know where I was going to school for like the longest time because she had never been here. I wanted a place where I could come in and have a chance at playing as freshman. And I had it narrowed down to like three. I had it Dayton, um, George Washington here because like at that point I was like, I'm so done with recruiting. I don't want to like worry about it anymore. I'm so sick of people asking me. And so I made a pros and cons list and I went through and I was like, Ball State feels like home.